Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Safe Space. Sincerity ain't for everybody. You know, this is the combo show. The fellas at the war room and the tissue and the tape boys sit around and, you know, just talk about whatever we want to talk about. Yes, sir. Listen, we um haven't been to you in a while. Everybody's been quarantined and trying to stay safe and alive. Um, You know, 2020 has been doing its thing to us, but we still here, though. Um, At the round table, though. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the Chiefs hat on, you know, still still celebrating the Super Bowl for whatever reason. That's all they got left. What's up, gang? Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Davis Backwards, uh, also known as Survive Davis, one half of the Tissue and the Tape podcast, official heat holder, number dose. Uh, salute. Yes, sir. Yo, okay. yo, it's your boy, Phil Matic 365, the other half of the Tissue and the Tape podcast with our family. It's the boy, Dev Mack, War Room Sports. Look, it's been a long time, man. I ain't had a haircut since like February 29th. This is a leap year, right? I think Boy, it was you don't want me to take this hat off. It's a self chop, but excuse the, excuse the hairline. But we back at y'all. What up? Yeah, man. Listen, um, it's crazy. Everything going on in 2020, man. I'm like, where should we start? But uh, you know, um, first off, first off, before we get into all the madness in the world, how y'all brothers dealing with quarantine, man? Like, you know, with this virus and quarantine. I know I talked to Dev, so me and Dev is taking it like really serious. Like I probably seen in the sunlight maybe like five, ten times in the last three months. <laughs> yo, yo, so when I when I do go out like I did today, actually, I appreciate the sun more because I don't see it that often, man. You know what I mean? I feel like an inmate. But other than that though, man, you know, life is life is good, you know, technology and whatnot. How y'all brothers making out? Well, I, I can just say um it's definitely been um very odd to just be at home so much. Uh, I know I used to be like fiending to be home, you know, being at work and stuff and, you know, just wanting to be home. Um, being home 24 seven pretty much is, is, is different, but I mean, there's no other place I'd rather be with my family. So that part has been good. Um, but yeah, I just never really realized uh, how much I missed certain things that I just took for granted as far as it's like the frivolous stuff that, that takes my attention away from, you know, all the other stuff. So that's, that's for me. Yeah, for yeah, me, like, saving, saving gas is cool. Um, you know, saving this daycare for the two little ones, that's cool. Even though I think all of it, not some of it, I think all of it has been replaced with food costs. Um, <laughs> because I got little kids who never eat when we need them to eat. But now that we're home 24 hours a day, they want to eat every six minutes. So, yeah, it, it, see more? it's different. Like if I was here by myself, like because I work at home a lot anyway on, on my own. But, you know, now that everybody's here, it's just a little bit different. It's chaotic at times because I have little ones. Sometimes you kind of wish like, all right, I wish they could be teenagers and then go back to their regular age after quarantine is over. But, you know, my oldest, you know, he 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 can do his own thing. But the other two, they need a lot of attention and they're real loud. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and, I, and I'm the only one that actually been outside, outside the, this whole time. The whole time. Yeah. You know, still taking got the, uh, got the antibodies. Take it, take Yo, it, uh, give me the Addy. I'm going to fly. <laughs> <laughs> taking, the, uh, outside. Taking, taking these uh, life and death chances for the coin. But um no nah, I was I, as y'all know I was I was out uh slinging that sun out in Florida and um I'm actually back home in the, in the in the Commonwealth so it, it definitely feels good to be home home you know what I mean uh with my ladies and it's still it's still crazy though um, you ain't had a safe space home game in a minute I've never had a safe space home game. I'm about to say, yeah, you go. <laughs> this is the first one. On the moon, getting dressed during the show. <laughs> uh, I, 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 feel, I, feel, I, I was, I was like the Rams, man, or the, the, the Chargers. Every, every game is a road game, yo. <laughs> yo, you like the Clippers basically, because the Clippers ain't had a home game yet in the history of their life. But, um, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's different, man. And, and like Jimmy said, even when you go out, the once in a while that you might go, out, I've done some contactless things you know maybe i had to go pick something more you sit in the car they come bring it put it in your trunk for you but just to watch everybody around like a retail store a home depot or, or a target or something just watching everybody go back and forth with masks and you're looking at this, like wondering if it's the new normal like it's different man it's, it's crazy it's Yo, it's ca to me and i was telling y'all earlier in our group chat i was like What's interesting to me is just how fast people have um, taken to wearing the mask, specifically the kids. 
I see kids like a mask, and now it's become a thing. Like designer, you know, um, me and my wife, mm-hmm. yo, me and my wife was in um the store earlier. We was in Lowe's, and the kid, like one kid, had an Eagles mask. Another kid walked by. He had like a Spider Man mask, and he hit his mom like, "I want that Spider Man man. I need that mask." She said, "You begged me for the Eagles mask." He was like, "Yeah, but Spider Man is better than the Eagles." And Eagles. I'm sitting there like, "Yo, like that's a, like that's a thing now. Like, like you got, you need to have a right mask. Like the mask you know, is like the Spider-Man. new sneaker. That's the new sneaker. Yo, I'm about, be, I'm about to be out here funny as hell with the flyest mask though, man. Yeah. And, and I'm just." I'm just yeah. waiting for like a nice Ray Palm bar about the flyest mask. But um my mother it's just, it's just mask. Mask, my gown got flowers on it. My mask is <laughs> oh, no, cool. man. You got you gotta step your mask up. My mask came trash, man. My mask came medical. Because she can give me a joint that match my shirt. So I'm gonna call you Hillary. I got you. Oh, let's go. <laughs> yo, shout out to Hillary. Now we now we gonna know if you uh, support us and watch our content. If you don't say shout nothing, out. but yo, yeah. <laughs> shout out to you. But she, but she did ask for for a uh, cash app just to support her, and I sent her one. And you know, thank you, Hillary, because I wasn't yeah, one of the people. Okay. that Because she said when you do it, put done on the little post, and I I don't like to do that. So I just. Okay. But I'm gonna give you some business. No, I'll, yeah. I'll put done on my jobs. I'll be with my flowers. <laughs> Get my you're like, you're sure. like, you're gonna know I gave you this money. <laughs> yeah, you gonna know I got this bread. I'll, and I ain't gonna I'm, I'm, I'm put it done. I put it done and I need I'm waiting for the people at Cold Stone to, to look at me, look at me in my eye before I put the money in the, in the tip jar. Oh, you want yeah, you, you one of them boys. Oh no, that's, yeah, you one of them oh, boys. You, you, you GD right. I'm not oh, what, 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 Don't put my mom in it. It ain't happening. She said the neighbor made him. She said, Don't put my mom in this. Oh. Okay. Oh, damn. Well, name out your mouth. Yo, peep that though. Let me ask y'all a question. What y'all know about going on the status putting done, although you ain't do nothing? <laughs> All right. No. I bet you I bet you like right, 50% of the people that put done didn't send anything. Definitely <laughs> when it comes to like the voting for like uh different like uh performing arts things and stuff like that. Oh vote for my such and such. Oh done. 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 <laughs> done. <laughs> never, never, never. done. Say less. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm trying Yo, to get this um, album in the uh, in the rotation. I got you. Yeah, done. Say Already less. done. <laughs> Album is fire, nothing but classics. I ain't never heard it, but yo, anyway, um, listen, um, I, we got to talk about what's going on in the world right now, gentlemen. Uh, I like, guess no other topic we really can talk about because, um, this is affecting everybody. We see what's going on with the looting, the country is like out of control. If you believe that, um, time out, John. I mean, you, first, you off, understand first off, how crazy that sounds. We sitting in the house yeah. for the last three months because of a damn virus. You know what I mean? That people, you know, hundred thousand people in America has died from, and then you say we got to talk about what's happening in the world. Like something has one up COVID nineteen. Yeah. And hold on, Dev. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we before we do all this, before we do all this, I just I first of all say rest in power to George Floyd. We got to give him an RIP for one. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're um, because we, we can't. Yeah, we can't lose that within the midst of everything else. We got to say rest in peace to the to, to the brother, man. No li- living legend, man. I-, I learned a lot about his life over the last couple of days. He's a legend, man. So yeah. rest in power. Yeah, what, what's, power what's, him, what's crazy about that is like the stuff that they unearth, and we always, you know, kind of talk about that sometimes. About how, like, uh, you know, all the stuff that comes up, but like, man, they had everything from the Pino video to uh he was with the screwed up click. Um, you know, yeah. some of the things that he had actually done in a Steven community. Jackson, yeah, oh, like some of the things he had done in the community too. So I mean, like we always talk about flowers and stuff. It's 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 so odd just to just see all the different things transpire after someone does pass, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, he's a legend, man. So rest in peace to that. Let's start with that though. But but besides, of course, rest in peace to George Floyd, but as Dev mentioned, so much is going on in 2020 that that COVID is on the back burner and the fact that this is the still the same calendar year in which we lost Kobe Bryant and his daughter Yo, and, that and is tragic. Like five and years it felt, it, felt, it felt like it was forever ago and it was it was less than you know I mean it's really coming down to like a few what, months a few months ago yeah what's this I don't even know what month we in it, it's it's about to be June tomorrow okay that, that tomorrow's time, June yeah tomorrow but March. yeah, about four months ago, something like yeah, that. Yeah, barely, barely four months ago, and and that seems like forever ago. 
And yeah. so just just to think, like me and the champ was talking about, it, it's like, man, if you just take everything that's happened in this year, month by month, is it, one month feels like a whole entire calendar year worth of of craziness. Yeah, yeah, it, Yo, it definitely so is. Much like, a lot of other people though. pass, even even the ones from natural causes. Little Richard, twenty twenty just decided to just yeah. take a whole lot of people. Betty Wright, yeah. is it, like bonkers. little little Richard. So, so yeah, um, like a lot of people, man. Tony Emmy. Hill's rap career. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the dog. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know it was still breathing. My bad. One of them genius. Shout out to Tony Hill, man. Yo, I mess with Tony Ayo, man. He's funny to me. He's comical. But anyway, so I see the hand over there. So absolutely bonkers right now, man. Like y'all said, rest in peace to George Floyd. And even though, like, you know, his name is what you're going to hear with all of this, you know, but we all know that his name was basically just the boiling point. We had Ahmaud yeah. Aubrey a couple weeks ago, Brianna Taylor. Um, the million other straws underneath yeah, it. Yeah, million other names. Yeah, like, say, yeah. Where everything was just building up. And then you watch this dude, you know, put his 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 knee on this guy's neck for nine minutes with absolutely no remorse. And ice grew the camera. It was the boiling point for everybody, man. It was the boiling point. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy, right? Because um, I like to separate those two things. You got George Floyd, then you got I watched too much Criminal Minds. I was getting ready to say this is the stressor, right? That's what they say on Criminal Minds. Like, what was the stressor? But this was the stressor because, like you said, everything boiled up. It's not just about George Floyd. And the fact that we were quarantined, that added to it too. That like people got this like pent up energy they like to let out too. Um first of all, when all this you know, goes on, you'd be like, Why was everybody <laughs> outside? But, <laughs> but yeah, it, yeah. But it's yeah, like that's another thing. This is the only thing. That's the only thing people respect. Like people try silent protest. That don't you can't please them with that. They respect this property damage, though, doggy. Like and that, you got mm. everybody's attention. Um, you know, I don't know what your demands are. I'm waiting for Bane to show up and tell us what we're gonna ask for. But <laughs> you got everybody's attention right now. Like, um, and I'm listen. I get it. I totally get it. I'm not one of these people. Like, oh, this is wrong. What are you? Listen, tear that shit up. Like, I get it. <laughs> You know the insurance companies are going it. through it. They're like, man, oh, come man. on, y'all. They're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as as, as my third grade TV teacher right uh, once told me, KRS, if negativity comes with a twenty-two, positivity comes with a forty-five. So uh, it's it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Of course, like, said, like they, they nobody wants to listen in the first place. So you know the measures have to be increased every single time. And like I said, I mean, I can, I know for a fact that all of this aggression isn't just because of one person, but this is the catalyst to the whatever movement we're a part of right now. This is this was the the, the jump off point because it's like it's like when anime thing. finally fought back in the limo. Right, right, right. right. And it's, it's a lot like she, he fought back. <laughs> that's, that's that wasn't analogy. because he stole it that time. That was because he stole it for years. You know what I mean? That, yo, that analogy was fire. <laughs> Yo, I think we found it. We found the show cover. The best thing they know there, man. Like, <laughs> Yo. back in the limo. Yeah, man, it's it's, it's ridiculous. So now the streets of America are being torn apart, burned up, vandalized, and like I said the the only part of this that I'm not digging um, when you talk about the vandalism and the looting is the fact that we keep seeing these reports and catching these videos and photos of a lot of white people doing this stuff. And, you know, a lot of them, it, it doesn't seem like their intentions are sincere. They might be doing this just so we can get more blame. Look at these animals. But at this point, like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. At this point. Yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. blame us, whatever. This is what it takes to get somebody's attention. Of a, different, of a different world. Remember, right. it was it was the same shit when it right. was in the Beverly Center. But the dudes tried to dudes tried to kneel peacefully, and nobody respected that because talk about it. A song was more important than than Black Lives. So if they, if they would have, I mean, they would have. We got to put a couple insurance companies out of business. Then they got to put a couple insurance companies out of business. Yeah, so, like yo, listen, man. Because my 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 thing is, um, what do you got to do to get someone's attention, right? And my like so. Uh, I don't blame. Them. That's the crazy part, right? So part of me, I understand. I just totally understand. When you have poverty, people feel like they have no opportunity. They're angry. 
right? So it may look as though they're just going out there to get whatever they want, but they're causing damage because they just don't care. And we know how group think is. So you see a couple people out there just it's just it just builds and builds and builds. And you know, um people have this contentious contentious relationship with law enforcement in our communities. And it's funny to me how and they made some people still don't get why. Even after this, they still don't get why. Hmm. Listen, man, I, I've, I I grew up in the hood, man. I had guns on me, so it's like, I, like I I ain't, I ain't with all that, you know. I'm not with the respectability politics. All you black bougie people, y'all not safe either. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can get it too. Y'all so niggas too. it's like, <laughs> so this 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 whole thing is exposing a lot of things for me as I see how people feel about it. Um, but yeah. the thing is, what's going to happen from it? That's the to me. That's what it really is about. It's about what are the solutions, right? <clears throat> I think that the questions that we have as a community are getting answered, but the thing is we're asking the wrong questions. We're so worried about acceptance yeah. that we don't focus enough on independence, mm. and that's the problem. Yo, you guys still, a lot of y'all still out there want to be accepted. Stop the trying point, to be accepted. F-O-A. Like, yeah. like yeah. Phil said, like y'all niggas too, like ironically, and we know this is the truth. We talk about it all the time. At this point, it kind of sounds like cliche to the other side, not to us. Ironically, we had just for the first time had that conversation with the eight year old about how they're going to see you when you're outside of this house and you're not with mom and dad and, and stuff like that. And it wasn't even because of George Floyd. We actually brought it up because of Karen in Central Park. Um, so we had this conversation okay. the day before the, no the news about George Floyd broke, you know, and you know, it's crazy. I told him, and it's crazy. It's still crazy that. We have to have these conversations with our kids, even at such a young age. But you got to know what you're getting into, what you're growing up into. Yo, I, yo, it's crazy. I forgot about Karen. I thought you was getting ready to say because of Ahmad. Nah, um, but you yeah. said Karen, which was that's Karen, a whole incident. Karen, like, Karen was, was within like Karen 48 was hours. Like this could happen. To yo, you. Karen in the crib right now. Like Karen in the crib right now. Like woo. I know. Like they probably trying to offer her a job back. Like we can sneak you back in here now. But no, it, that was like our breaking point before this happened because it was like, yeah, all right, we got to talk to him now because, I mean, look at the credentials on the dude that she weaponized the cops with. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm, we had to let him know, like, no, when you go it's outside, matter, them, man. they're not going to know or care that you're a straight A student. Yep. They're not going to care that you, you know, come from a decent home. None of that matters. They all they see us the same way, no matter who we are. You know what I mean? A lot of times so it's. I hope harass or shoot first ask questions later or hear about you know all I of hope that i hope y'all i hope y'all bougie z negroes are paying attention to what he's saying like your degrees ain't gonna save you yo nah. your degrees ain't gonna save you mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying your proximity to whiteness and the bird gonna save you you know so it's like and that's been a big thing for me though because i see people that like quote unquote uh you know make it or do whatever they consider what they consider making it but which it, what it really is about is proximity um to europeans and they thumb their nose. I've even seen people thumb their nose at their own mother and father because their mother and father made sacrifices and allowed them to get to a different level in life. And they look back at them like, oh, and it's like that bothers that makes my blood boil. <laughs> um, so now when I see them now acting scared on social media, I actually like get some sort of enjoyment, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So, man, listen, I totally get it. I totally get it. But now my question is, what, what's the what comes from this though? What actually comes from this? Now we got the attention. What's next? SJ. That's the question, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, action. What's the actionable <laughs> items? Man, we passed Neil. What's the actionable items? <laughs> and you know, you know, oh, you know. The other thing that's so transparent too. He's trying to walk them comments back all week, bro. <sighs> the, the the other thing that's so transparent too is now how we were talking about how all the different corporations are trying to make sure that they have their statement out and they you know make sure that they're seen as yeah. you know uh within an alliance um you know i i really don't care if taco bell you know says hey we see you Fair you up. know like Fair it just up. doesn't it doesn't mean much to me and you know the same thing goes to even some of the the, the companies that i'm you know a, a faithful patron of or whatever it doesn't really matter to me Rod, right, like break that window yeah yeah i mean <laughs> i don't care what he's talking about break yeah it, does, it doesn't really matter <laughs> but um the other thing that i see that that people are, are talking about too is like oh uh, you know if i don't see you speaking out on this i know where you stand so you know i, I know where we are i'm like no, you, you, didn't, you didn't you didn't know where you were with this person uh before they didn't speak out on this and they, you know they're <laughs> 
Like it, this, this isn't some great like uh you know uh Scooby Doo unveiling in a mask for me for 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 a lot of people that I know. I know how they feel, where they stand, and you know that that's why they're either kept at bay or you know they're in a certain place with me. So you know them not saying anything or posting something or you know retweeting something, it doesn't really matter that much to me. Everybody's giving out their little <laughs> social media tests. If you don't say, if you don't post nothing, then yeah, uh, that doesn't matter. And then you see a lot of posts like talking about white people. If you you see a lot of them posting, trying to say something, you know that's that's they think is helpful. I look at it all with a side eye anyway. Like you're just saying that because yeah, it's <laughs> all white guilt. Say. Yo, and, and shout out, shout out to all y'all with the post with the post talking about. Yeah. I know all white people aren't bad. Nah. I have my man. F O H man. Don't Everybody try to hear that man. Yo, y'all y'all gotta do that some other time, man. Even even if you believe <laughs> that, don't do that. So th this is how I'm looking at it though. All all the white people that benefit off of. Black people things like hip hop and basketball, like I need, I need them to say something because they're the ones that's living. I yeah. mean, it, it, it. But it's it, not just the ones you think. Like everybody loves our culture. Everybody, everybody loves our culture. Everybody, but not everybody benefits but from everybody our culture. <laughs> that's how it is, man. Love your culture, but they hate you. Bottom line. Yeah. Because everybody, yeah. everybody out there acting a fool, you know trying to make an excuse for why cops do this to people they all go home and listen to, to drake <laughs> they all go home and listen to, mm -hmm. to kendrick or somebody it don't matter man why they watching the nba <laughs> or right right, right. Movie. so yeah it's, oh, it's it's crazy in the in these american streets right now jim before we even came on the air you were sitting there watching live what's going on in philly um <laughs> and that's another thing too about that death, right to that mm -hmm. point right I, it's funny how like a couple nights ago, when it was just in Minnesota, how I saw people in Philly talking about, yeah, that's right, revolution. Da -da -da -da. When that thing hit Philly, boy, they did a whole 180. Like, whoa, whoa, doggy. Like, <laughs> like, no, what are y'all doing? That's not the right message. Don't that's tear stuff message. up. I'm like, you was cool. They was they was burning stuff in Minnesota. You was cool with that. You was like, let's go. But you know, once it got hitting close to home, you don't want no parts of that. Listen, man. At the end of the day, um. 2020 is going to be amazing for history teachers. I tell you that. Like everything going on um, in society and culture these days, boy. Can you imagine what this is going? How many fire documentaries are going to come? I'm about to say it's also going to you be amazing for Hollywood once you know people can be next to each other again. Because think about Hollywood. Oh man, the love stories. They're gonna make love stories. Y'all met. Y'all met at a, a Antifa <laughs> rally during 2020. Like <laughs> no, it's gonna be love stories. It's gonna be pandemic type movies. It's gonna be. You know, it's a love story in every movie, anyway. Um, no, they, they make one like it was one in, uh, in Pearl Harbor. <laughs> they, they made it into a love no, story. There's a love story in every movie if you peep. Like every movie has yeah. a love story. Like, yeah, man. Like so, that's going to be part of this. So like, much hate in society, but every single movie has a love story in it. Yo, I tell you one thing was killing it. Like, so now we live in an age where social media going live, all that is real. The camera phones are fire. Yo, some of the photos we've seen are just like amazing album covers, yo. <laughs> that burning building. Iconic joints. Right? Yeah. Yo, it's some icon. Yo, the one Hank just showed us, the young boy, like with his graduate pictures, with everything going on behind him, he got his cap and gown on. <laughs> that's that's going to be a mural iconic, somewhere. Yo. That's, that's going to be a mural. Yo, that's iconic. That's another part of history. Like everybody, you know, high school and college graduates from from this year, right? Like what they went through. It's gonna be movies about that. Yeah, it, yeah, I've yeah. Um, twenty twenty man. I've never seen anything like this. No, no, I don't think I don't think none of us have, dog. Not not anyone born during our time, man. Like, nah. you know what I'm saying? But I know people that have been alive, like that were literally alive during the civil rights movement. You know, and they're staring their seventies now and just talking to the elders, and they like. I ain't seen nothing like this. <laughs> like they ain't even seen nothing like this, and they were there for some in the marches. They ain't seen nothing like this, dog. I guess if yeah. you take real personal stuff out of your life, like for me to, and it doesn't come close at this point. Like two thousand one, nine eleven was crazy, and and the Sixers mm -hmm. was in the finals. So yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that was a crazy year for me. But like a global yeah. pandemic, nothing. though. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Like this. I've been in the house for three months. I, I think like the DC is was crazy. One because he was black, <laughs> and then two yeah, because just crazy. like the like 
that that was legit scary. I mean, people that, always that's, down here. That's your proximity too, right? Like yeah. people in Oregon were like, yeah, oh yeah. man. Yeah, they were like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you see what the ducks doing. But it was it was low key like this, but you know, not on the page. No, this, this is just such on the ground. Things then, down where we were supposed to stay in the house during yeah, the whole yeah. thing. And then you factor in social media too, because like that just ran everything yeah. up. Yeah, I Absolutely. remember being at like at, at ATMs, like dancing while I was waiting for my money. Yo, <laughs> Cass, Cass and Philly was you know, Cass and Philly was doing that at the at the gas pump, like straight, like doing the electric slide because they like it was nuts. But this is something different, doggy. Like this yeah. is this is life altering because nothing will be the same after this. It's like yeah, you pre Rona and post Rona. You know, if you could talk to people, like you can, mm -hmm. like how's how is sports going to work? We talk about. Sports all the time. How's that going to work? Like, I think we've seen our last high five in sports ever. Yo, yeah. How you guarding somebody? They about to go back to the zone. Like, how you guarding? Somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Guarantee y'all. Yo, I, all right. So you know, it's so it's so much stuff. Think about the huddle. Like just like like the the huddle in football. I mean, the line of scrimmage. They're trying to make some kind of mask. For them to put in their face masks, but yeah, and then how you how you going to communicate? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's all right. Like, so, well, you know, outside of that, right? So, 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 be some robotic shit coming at you. <laughs> we like war room sports. Y'all tissue in the tape. How you going to have rap concerts? Right. Do we ever see like standing room standing room only concerts for like hip hop acts? It better be, be like better five do, years. Uh, they better do it. Uh, Beanie Man and uh, and uh, about to kill her. Bounty Killer, that oh, that, that, was, that was amazing. That was fire, though. You, you, you know, I'm not, I'm not even a reggae dude like that, a dancehall dude like that. That dude's no. all that. And I guarantee y'all, there's a bunch I'm of a, people out there thinking, oh, we can get back to everything. We just be up in the concert with masks. But nobody ever said masks are really going to save us. Like, right. Mm -hmm. The bigger part of the whole mask is stopping you from infecting other First people. First of all, everybody has to be wearing a mask. And then everybody has to be wearing a mask right. And right. they have to have the proper and mask. They have to have the proper mask. Like everybody's making masks now, sewing masks. You, you can't know. have your mask sagging. You know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you have a coming out the mask, like oh, you know what I mean, not helping. Like, I have, have, a, I have, have a Louis belt, belt on your mask. You're like walking around with your jaw out. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder. I wonder. Like, I wonder. Like, um, in gang culture, like, are you going to have to wear your mask one way, which indicates one thing, and the other way indicates another thing, like? You know they got their yeah. own code yeah. now, man. Yo, you go ahead. Where just, you like, from? just a random, How about a from? random I, thought. Check my mask. Just, like, put a halt the game, culture. You go ahead. That you go ahead. Blue mask, red mask. That, you know that kind of crime has been down since this happened. Um, I mean, I think we're going. We're about to see a spike in the COVID numbers because right, because it is George yeah. Floyd died. And now everybody out in the streets and it's about to get. I mean, they close. They out there rumbling. And, Breathing on yo, it's not like it, yo, it was getting wild in Philly today where the looters start robbing each other. Like, like it was a couple of cats who was waiting to see what everybody else got and then just robbing them. Like, yeah. forget my, I ain't breaking into a store. I'm, it, it, I'm robbing the a robber. Like it was it was a video. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to jack jacker. Two dudes had a shopping cart full of TVs. They saw one dude walking what I think was a was a uh was what's the Nintendo uh joint? Whatever it was, it was like switch. some kind of, yeah, switch. it was a switch. So they they go to take the switch. They start beating the boy up. Somebody else picks up the switch, walks off with it, <laughs> and, and then my all my man he wanted whatever was in his little knapsack, and then it was it's just crazy, man. That's um, what's going on though. It's like yo, I'm just gonna rob the robber now at this point. Um, so it's it's getting buck wild. Um, I know that. Go get me a switch. Huh? My bad. I said go get me a switch. <laughs> go, go give me a switch. Bars. Go <laughs> give me a switch. Don't even ask how. Don't even ask how. Um, no, I, I, really, I don't feel it off that day. I don't have a clue, Jim. Like, when is the next time I'm going to see my family? I have no clue. Man, Damn, I ain't like think about that. Yeah, like, I can't come to Philly. I might get shot. Even if I was about to, you know what I mean? They, they doing too much. The cops was was already day before it was okay to wear a mask in public. I mean, that's that's a so whole nother thing that we haven't even really talked about. People are they're, they're telling you to wear masks, so you're already hiding people's identity. I mean, <laughs> all right. So uh, my thing is like I, outside of that, that just travel general. I had to cancel multiple trips because of this. Yeah. Um, and it's like 
when's that ever gonna open back up? And then and when it does, who's gonna feel safe traveling? So this whole all right, this whole thing is just it's just nuts. So, and then you add so check I got, this out. I got some I was, I, was, I, I, I hopped on a plane to come back to VA. I was supposed to I was supposed to go through Atlanta and I had them change it to Charlotte. But I went I took my rental car back. You know how busy airports are in especially in the rental car. It was three people in the entire John. They didn't like I pulled the car all the way up. <laughs> not even in the return spot. I pulled it back in the spot where I actually got it from. <laughs> and, and, then, and then they just they I they, I just basically handed her my uh my paper out the window. She checked it and was like, go ahead. It was that one lady checking in all the cars. It was one dude in the booth, and that was it. All right. For the whole <laughs> airport rental car I, I return. Saw some, um, I saw Two some people. articles where a lot of the airport rental car joints was they like selling their fleet on the low because they're not, you know, they're not getting their business. So now they're trying to sell the cars to the public. But you know, at yeah. the same time, I mean, I, I guess the car I had, I I'm, ran I'm that thing. Like right now, like who's in the market for a whip? I mean, but I guess if the price is crazy, then yeah, think about it on ice. But you're not going anywhere right now. So who yeah, yeah. who wanna put who wanna make an extra bill <laughs> for something you're not gonna use? You're not gonna use, yeah. Yeah. So. And then I, I got on the plane and it was basically pick my seat. Like it was so, like if I was you, I'd have drove that rental car back home. I know I thought about it. I I one hundred percent thought about it, but I was I was on the I was on the plane uh like like contagion, man. It was it was I was I was I was wrapped all the way up. Plain germs, plain germs spooked me even before this. So no, one hundred. That recycled air, that ain't that ain't nothing nice. But yeah, yeah. So crazy, crazy times we live in, man. What I built else? my immune yeah, system up by eating shitty food all my life, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Speaking of that, man, like you guys haven't been able to get favorite uh, eating establishments, or have you uh, during quarantine? No, I haven't. I, I've discovered uh, Uber Eats and Grubhub and uh, Grubhub. You know what though, Phil? They they loan you to sleep right now because because of the pandemic, those uh, fees they be, mm. you know, they, <laughs> man. Usually, when you order from something like that, I usually do that when I'm on business trips. I'd be too lazy to go outside, so I, I hit up one of them joints. I mean, you usually pay a good. 15 to 20 dollars yeah. more than what your food is because you got the service fee, the you delivery the fee, fee mm -hmm. and you got to give them a tip yeah. for hitting your shit before they bring it. So <laughs> yeah. So they 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 definitely uh, because of the pandemic, they're not yeah. for delivery fees at least. And yeah. tax. <laughs> I found out they'll deliver ice cream if you if you really if you really bought that life. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, that's absolutely insane, man. Yeah, lobster. So anyway, man, um crazy. I've joined two services and, play, my, and shipped for groceries. Okay. Yeah. Life, life is different, man. It's yeah, we, we in we in a whole new world, man. We in a whole new world, man. So my my thing is to you guys, uh, you no, know, um, before we get out of here, we gotta talk about this. Like with, with everything going on with the lie, the rioting, the looting, and all that. When do you see an end of this? Like, is it is it interesting to you? Like, I saw someone told me today, like they're arresting people all over the country <laughs> as opposed to just arresting the three officers. But at yeah. this point, I don't even think that matters. Right. right? No, I, I don't even think like that. that's not even what's just going to appease people now, man. It, I mean, it's the same change we've been wanting in this country for 400 years. I can't say that it's ever going to do anything, even if they, you know, tear down the country right now. Um, I think why it's getting their attention the way it is, is because we were already in financial ruins. You know, you got what, 40 million people. Um, Filing for unemployment over the past three months. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of businesses going out of out of you know just going out of business. Mm -hmm. and it's like a lot of businesses were just holding on. Now with the cost behind this, a lot of people are gonna be gone. <laughs> That's it. So That's all crazy, of those people crazy. You know, reopen because they cared so much about the economy. Tell you, tell your man's and them stop killing black people. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, tell them to stop that. Well, tell them to stop killing black folks. Here's yeah. my question, though, right? So, um, all of us, right? All of us are on social media. All of us have our favorite sites. 
You know what I'm saying? I said for Phil. I don't know what Phil's favorite site is. I see Phil on every site. So Phil might not have a favorite <laughs> site because um he, he no, everywhere. Anyway. But we all have a yeah, we might all have our favorite sites, but all of us have that that one, two, or, or sometimes five or ten people who are the supreme conspiracy theorists, right? I like conspiracies myself because they make the world interesting. What's the what's the craziest one you've seen through this pandemic, through the looting? Like, because there's a lot of things you can make conspiracies for. Yeah. I, I what do you think is the wildest one you've the, seen? The, the most timeline? recent one might be the wildest one. Is that is that uh the 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 uh the cop that 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 did the killing? Mm-hmm. It is the conspiracy theories that he's a, a a agent for the government. And they had him at the Boston bombings. They spotted him there, like the Maritime bombing. Yeah, that's crazy. I ain't, yeah, I ain't even, see that one. Damn. Yeah, I ain't I'm, see I'm, that I'm, I'm going to put the link in the, in the group chat. It's crazy. Like, they, they, was they, first. Like, they, all they, they found, found all these people, he killed they that. All these people that kind of looked like him and said he was at all of these places where crazy stuff happened at different shootings. <laughs> like, Mr. <"Whoa."> Anderson? <laughs> right. Words. Like, like, my boy had the quantum leap or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yo, I don't know if I could beat that one, Phil. You should, you shouldn't have went first with that one. All I got is nobody can beat that. And microchips with the um with the vaccine when it comes. That's all I got. But you just killed that. Yeah, your five G was mine for sure. (laughs) My bad, my bad. I I I went I went I I went big on the um. What was dude's name? Agent Smith. Agent Smith, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mister. I, I did. I, I, I did. However, I did. However, see. Um, I, I saw the, the uh, ashtrays, uh, uh, one today about like you know because we saw we all saw the agitators that were obviously like police or some sort of agent or whatever. We all saw those. Yeah, that's not really sure. a conspiracy. Not, that's not even a theory. You, you. But you yeah, saw, but the, the one I see a lot of I see a lot of people with now is like you know is. <laughs> They're doing all this to just like get get racism off the table, so they don't want to talk about racism, white supremacy. So let's shift away from police killing. Let's shift it away from racism. Let's just now make the narrative all about the looting and the um, unrest. They're animals. Mm-hmm. So I don't even know. I don't even know if that's a conspiracy. To be honest with you, no. first um, of all, I think that's built on, on looting. That's called damage control. There ain't no conspiracy. Yeah. The, this country's built on looting. Like the 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 most famous looting ever is the Boston Tea Party, and like that's. You know they build statues I mean, for them dudes. I would say more money. The so, most, is it the most most is famous it? looting is slavery? What you talking about? Like they went over there and looted for people. No, um, bust up in. I mean, the, there's in, that too. I was talking about. I was talking about the one they acknowledge. I mean, I was talking about the, the Native, Native Americans. Americans Native American. Native, Native Americans <laughs> beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, he, he's right though in terms of the most famous one because they they probably don't really talk about the no. the stealing of the land as much as it probably should be, no, like no, taught or yeah, mentioned. Slavery slavery gets reported as unpaid workers in some textbooks. So, um, all right, well, it, how about this then? All right, so that last billion dollar bill that got passed for recovery, <laughs> corporations looted that too and gave us twelve hundred dollars. But um, that's yo, they sent the Lakers a stimulus check, yo. Come on, man. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yo, then when then when big companies send it back, they get a pat on the back for that. Oh, look how great they are. They sent it yeah. back. F- who, who, who else was that? Uh, Shake Shack. Shake Shack got one. Uh, yeah. Ruth Chris got one. We found out. That's um, what they sent it back. But the but the, the, they the was they Lakers. was like, what are we gonna do with this? It was like, what what is this? I bet, what? I bet you Ruth Chris still got their windows bust. <laughs> you should have kept sure. that. <laughs> you should have kept that. <laughs> yeah, what, what they going? What they going? What they going to do? The cart and not seasoning the steaks. Well, first of all, let me make sure I address them right. I'm not going to call them looters. What are they going to do when the protests reach the zoo? I That's what them. I want to know. And they start really letting stuff. No, no, no you saw they that. They letting stuff they was on the tram in the zoo. Well, I don't know what city it was, but they was on the tram riding uh, through the zoo. Oh man. I'm talking about when they start letting stuff loose, like when they get in there, they no, start they letting did. stuff loose. That's what I'm saying. They I, did. They was opening the cages, but they but the the one boy was on the tram going through the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put all these jokes in the group. You should expect. Some I know tigers are walking through the streets at some point soon. I know when I'm um, Philly, uh, someone got a police horse and he was riding the police horse. I know that um that was yesterday. So yeah, um, oh, I, you know, I saw so it that. Is what it is. I mean. You, he, he, he said, but my question is, like, when they start getting there, 
<laughs> we start seeing lions. We start seeing lions and bears come down Gerard Ave. Do what we gonna do? I know yeah, they they not gonna shoot them. That's man. what's gonna happen. They gonna let them. They gonna let them. Oh rock no! Out. They 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 gonna they gonna um all animals lives matter. Yo, they they go they go uh man. All right. They gonna be they gonna be putting except as. <laughs> Except for the Black Panther, they you they gonna put eighty eight holes in the Black Panther. Gotta be on my block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, man. I, 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 listen, man. I bet I bet all y'all gentlemen that if I see any animals, I, I, I listen. I bet y'all twenty two G's and I'm grabbing the blicky, the blicky, the blicky. Don't even ask how. Yo, um. <laughs> That's uh, I mean, I mean, it's bars. But uh, no, man. So um, so listen, I had a question. I got a question safe. too. I had a question go ahead, go ahead. Too, before. Go ahead, um, man. We we've talked about all the different uh, like the ramifications, the byproducts. Like, what do y'all think about uh, just the the can- cancel culture and just where we are with that? Like, um, you know, there, there's been some people that are that have been using their religious beliefs to kind of you know, um, I guess uh, explain why they've said certain things. Uh, what not? I've seen a lot of the the different uh, younger comedians, Instagram comedians. I think they should probably just be quiet. I've seen a few get, yeah. um, you know, get uh, just blasted, you know, just for you know, just posting something or whatever. But um, just with cancel culture, it was already dumb as it was. You know, we're, we're trying to get somebody out of here for something they've said long ago. Is what? What do you think about that now, Jim? <laughs> I don't even think cancel culture is real. Like in retrospect and looking at it. Most people that we consider have gotten canceled really haven't gotten canceled. I don't think it's real. It's almost like, all right, so here's my analogy, right? Hip hop guys, right? <laughs> you all know guys like um like a like an MF Doom or um you know guy guys that are independent and have their own little niche <clears throat> and they make a, a ton of money every time they come out because they have their little people that they deal with. The the popular masses may not know who they are. I think that's how celebrity in general is, right? So there's these little, I mean, it's almost like Facebook. Facebook used to be this big thing with everybody, and now everybody just hangs in groups. Um, so there's like small groups. I think the when people get canceled is when they try to apologize. Like, yo, what you got to do is you got to double down. Like, sort of like Chick-fil-A did. When Chick-fil-A was like, yo, we don't bang with this community, and everybody got mad at him, they was like, no, you won't eat this chicken or not. Like, yeah. If there's enough people that rock with you that you don't have to backtrack and you can make a living and make a great living wow. just catering to those folks. And I think that's kind of what it is. Nobody's really got canceled. If you're a celebrity, you say something stupid. There's going to be enough people that, first of all, there's going to be a certain level of people that agree with you, even if what you're saying is ask a nine or ask a 10. So you just rock with that group. So I don't even think cancel culture is real. I tell you, like, I don't think sir. it's real, to be honest with you. Yes, Listen to how black people talk about Kanye now. Kanye drop an album tomorrow. Everybody going, I mean, they're going to hear that album somehow. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I don't know, man. It, it seems convenient. It's not real. At, yeah, it seems convenient for, for what people say. <coughs> um, like, like, I mean, I agree with you, though. But it's, it's silly anyway for people to even act like this is what we're doing to everybody. Um, it's fake you know, outrage. Allen just had to apologize for dressing up in blackface to do a Chris Rock skit 20 years ago. 20 like, years ago, yeah. People don't even know about the stuff because they don't really bang with you like that. And then, oh, wait, <laughs> who's this guy? He's on Tonight Show. He's kind of funny. You start looking him up, you find something, and then you spread it. Well, you know why they found it? Because he was, he, he was speaking out against against uh, what happened to uh, right. in, in, in George Floyd? Okay. And that's why they found it. It wasn't because you know they they <clears throat> were searching for the truth, you know. <laughs> they they just they just they just wanted to to, to like shut down his point that they, what they happened. They probably, they probably, George Floyd was horrible. It probably like Jimmy Fallon, black people. My thing is, <laughs> my thing is, life is about learning. Life is about learning. Life is about progress. Like everybody at some point in life has been hypocritical. Because if not, you you don't really grow. You're not a real person. Or you're lying. Right, you're lying. If you if you sit here and say I've never been a hypocrite, you're a liar. Because if you're growing as a person, you will become a hypocrite, right? So you just have to like say, look, I did it, and what? I'm sure. Like the problem is like the, the fake apologies. The other day, hey, that you know I can get fake canceled. Yo, <laughs> if I yo, would. listen. The other day I saw I saw Hill Harper trending, right? So in 2020, when I see somebody trending, you know the first thing you think of is, are oh, they out of here? So I clicked on to try to see why he was trending. He was trending because uh. D Wade's um, daughter uh, had a birthday, and 
he like basically was saying happy birthday, but he said happy birthday, young man. Um, to Zaire. Now they went crazy. He knew what he was doing, like, though. He, he, need, he needed he needed to get his numbers up, though. <laughs> but that's my point. Right? That was my point. I was getting to vibe. My point is this whole thing of cancel. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, he did. He did. My thing is when this happens, though, I'm starting to wonder if getting canceled actually is better for your career than like just being irrelevant. Right, because some people just fade into like obscurity. But when you get canceled, you back on it. Everybody going to say, "Oh, what he did!" Like you know, so you're back in the forefront. So I think some people will, like he potentially faded. get canceled. You fade into Bolivian. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah he, so. he, he but he knew what he was doing though. Like you know, you know, you can't. That's just a subject that you know. Never man, this shit oh. out twice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sub was me. Speaking I'm, of subs, man. Speaking I'm, I'm, of subs, funny. cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's, whoa! I, uh, those are the thoughts of Devin McMillan and Devin McMillan. Listen, um, <laughs> real quick though, speaking, speaking of subliminals, right? Did y'all peep um when Killer Mike gave his "I Have a Dream" speech the other day about Atlanta? <laughs> right. Actually, what's interesting I, I to me about that? About I didn't see the speech yet. All right, the speech was interesting to me. Right? It was a great speech. He got real, like he, you know, he was he started sounding like he was kind of anointed. Like you know, I was waiting to donate some bread, but I was looking for his cash app. But anyway. What was interesting to me is when he was saying all that stuff, he was up there with a shirt on that said, kill your masters. Mm-hmm. I'm like, he's dropping subs. He's dropping subs. Like, I wonder if anybody else caught that. Like, he's he dropping subs while telling a speech. Like, yo, don't destroy Atlanta. It's all these black businesses. But I'm like, yo, your shirt says, kill your masters. I says, okay. He dropping subs in the speech. I get it. Yeah, it's, it's, Y'all peeped that, though? Yeah, like, yeah, he had a, he had a joint. Peep. He's got, he's got like, I saw though. something on iTunes that said that. That's like the song. Yeah, he has a song called that, but he has merch that says "Kill Your Masters." I'm like, he's got merch okay. too. Okay, yeah, I saw the shirt. Okay, got to have merch in 2020. Though. Everybody Remember, didn't see that because there mean, was a lot of people saying that he wasn't. Uh, they, that they were they were saying like you know he wasn't for the movement because he was saying don't burn down Atlanta, where he's basically saying like protect the black businesses. While yeah. still saying kill your masters. That's what I'm saying for the and, and vote and vote. He, he said beat beat them up at the polls. I mean, white people will probably start doing it too, though, putting like black biz- black owned business on the outside of the. Oh, they was doing it. Oh, remember the Koreans was doing it in LA. Yeah, they'll try. They'll try. Um, yo, it's it's crazy when the least stressed Earthlings are the two bulls that just flew to space, flew to the space station. Listen, listen, Stress free. Get like, out of here. I understand the hell to go to space bro, bro. right about now. I would be very stress free unless I find out the boy next to me got coronavirus. But <laughs> that'd be ugly. <laughs> that'd be deadly. Like, that would be Yo, that imagine would be that. Where, 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 where you find where out? Where were you when all the world? <laughs> like, where were you when the revolution started? I wasn't even in the like you know the I world. I was somewhere else. Like galaxy, yo. you can't say I'm out the country. Like I wasn't out the country. I was out the galaxy. Is you talking about? <laughs> yeah. and, and, unless they got face off the planet. Then, then, <laughs> then they would say, "Yeah, this was back down here." Yeah, that's I mean, pretty amazing. Think though. about it. When they took off, everything didn't really start to go down like um countrywide yet. Yeah. So they probably think they came back to the wrong planet. Like, oh, this is this is a different um dimension. Oh, no, they, like, we on Earth three. When they took off, nah, they. What was that? That took that's off at like two, like two thirty. They just took off yesterday. Yeah, stuff, stuff. Yeah, but stuff, stuff was in Minnesota, down, but it wasn't like. Nah, because they had the standoff at the White House gates the night before. They, mm-hmm. they, they knew. Yeah, yeah, but, like, but yesterday is when it got crazy across the country. Their favorite though. cities gonna look like their favorite cities because yeah, it got crazier. But they know what's going on. It got crazier. <laughs> well, they, where, they, where, they got where, crazier. Where are you astronauts from? I'm gonna start me a new conspiracy theory. They the ones that that set it off, man. They made sure they was out of, so they can't be connected. <laughs> Yo, speaking of, I watched the first two episodes of Space Force on um, Netflix. Steve Carroll. Yeah, it, they they basically just clowning Trump and this whole Space okay. Force thing. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, kind of on my my black AF type, John. Like I I ain't really laugh out loud yet, but I still appreciate the um the effort <laughs> of them clowning this because yeah, the whole time I'm the whole time they've been doing this whole Space Force thing and and government. I just keep asking myself, like, what is NASA for? Right, well, exactly. Space Force different because they're gonna go up there, but they're gonna have weapons this time. Like, I don't, I don't understand the difference, but NASA, I don't get up on that. NASA is funneling money for other things. You know, that's why you, that's why you get uh, 
fourteen million dollar tires. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Toilet seat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. That's amazing. Thumb tax. I say before we mm. before we bounce, man, we just gotta give shout outs. To just anything you want to give a shout out to throughout this whole quarantine, I give a couple, man. Probably because I'm I'm off it. I've been off it a long time, but you know, shout out to the IG DJs and the the, the verses. Shout out to to Swiss and and, and um Timberland for that. Shout out to P- delivered groceries. I mean, th- this isn't that's not a new thing, but now everybody's up on it. The people who were doing it before. Probably upset that they gotta wait longer. They're, def- they're definitely mad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like now I've been doing this for three years and now I gotta yeah. wait three days for my groceries. I've been listening to that mixtape. Now y'all wanna everybody like it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to contactless deliveries. We was just leaving stuff on your porch now. Everybody acting like FedEx and UPS <laughs> just <laughs> right food just on the porch rolling out. But no, it's the new normal that we talked about in the beginning of the show, man. So I just Everybody that's trying to do something that's different, but now becoming the new normal to either entertain people, get people fed, all that kind of stuff, man. Salute, 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 man. I, I want to start off yeah, by, of man. course, right. just saying, um, yeah, salute to, of course, the the all the healthcare workers. Oh yeah, man. Everybody that's out there, you know, sacrificing because, I mean, let's be honest, like. You we you know still are dealing with a, a very serious and deadly virus and people are out. There. I know I'm just not built like that. Like you know I, I'm that's why I'm not in that field. I'm definitely you know just yeah I'm gonna help I'm gonna help in other ways. It's not gonna be you know in that way. But um, I'll be the one that's hated by it because I quit when everything happened. Like I, <laughs> like oh no no hey. hiring. <laughs> but no, but man, definitely salute to you know everybody, healthcare professionals, and, su- and salute to me all the educators um, being being home for the last thirteen weeks with my children twenty four seven. Has given me a, a, a I already had a, a very healthy respect. We we were the, the parents that always laced the just on their birthdays and the teacher appreciation week, and even just just cause. But yeah. you know, even now, um, you know, yeah. just seeing the things that they that they do, you know, and they genuinely you know care for your kids. Um, in a manner that uh, a lot of people wouldn't, um, and salute to them, um, and uh, salute to everybody that knows that their kids are going to be uh, teleschooling in the next uh, for the next six to eight to twelve months. Man, this ain't going nowhere, man. So everybody that's woke enough to realize that you're still going to be homeschooling your kids, salute, salute to you for for recognizing that and hopefully gearing up to it because this this ain't going nowhere no time soon. Man, I got two going to kindergarten. Like me you, too. You yeah, my, my, wait yep. till y'all, wait till y'all you got have that, like oh, first day of kindergarten. As a matter of fact, I tried to plan a vacation for that time, <laughs> and then like had to switch the dates because I was like, no way she gonna let me miss right. That. And then same that's thing, not, not even gonna happen. Vacation same is not thing. gonna happen either. But wait till y'all gotta start doing homework. <laughs> I mean, we, we try to, they do some stuff now, but. Just to get yeah. them ready, but they still not gonna have that classroom experience yet because they're not. Right. I'm not in preschool. They're in like a place with like five five mm-hmm. other kids. So yeah, when they finally get to school, it's gonna be like the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, Ooh, these people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I wanted to, Phil. I, who you giving a shout out to, Phil? I wanted to definitely shout out, man. Uh, the the truck drivers and all the delivery people that's uh keeping us laced with uh premium goods uh during it. Because I I know I've ordered way more things than I think I've I've ever ordered in in my life in the get. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm 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 a I'm a jerk for not even for shouting for not shouting them out because we get at least four packages per day now. Yeah, man. <laughs> shout shout out shout out to the good people at Amazon that can deliver a a a, a, a bone in uh, ribeye. Uh, to the crib, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, same day delivery within like 45 minutes. Uh, freshly Hello, wrapped, fresh, yeah. Shout Good out to Ellen Fresh. Um, oh, Jeff. <laughs> but yeah, man, no, like the like truck drivers because when this thing was real heavy and we didn't know really how bad it was going to be, they were still out on the road, uh, making sure like supermarkets were stocked with food. Yeah. So, you know, and shout out to the people that actually work in supermarkets. 
You know, because they don't they don't get paid. The most dangerous. Well, yeah. besides the hospital, so it's one of the few places where they let they don't have a a, a, a head count on the amount of people that can be in there. You right. know, and it people come in without masks. You know, I try to avoid WalMarts at all costs before <laughs> this, and it's it's even crazier after this. So definitely shout out to them. Um. But yeah, man, and then of course, you know, because I am a hip hop dude, shout out to the uh all the uh Instagram DJs and the verses and everything, keeping us entertained without sports and you know. You know what was the hottest thing, Phil, so far? Probably because it was different. The the little concert Kwame threw. I was digging that. That was that was dope. Uh, that was, that was, that was cool. actually one of the best DJs. Things. It's the same thing. It's just your preference of yeah. what DJ you want to look at. Do no. But they actually get the 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 the, uh, the artists on live to perform their classic songs that everybody loved. You know, yeah, everything was hot until it was, until Beanie, it was a lot know, of technical difficulty. Beanie Man, Beanie Man, and them like took it to the next level. They they pooped on everybody. Like everybody before them was trash. They had like, I don't know if any of them because everybody before them made me quit, so I didn't see Beanie Man. <laughs> The crazy part about Beanie Man and was, you didn't even have to like. I was done after Teddy Riley. Man. Oh, okay. Oh, you been quit? No, Teddy. Teddy, as you tap out, Paul. Who was after them? But, I may have seen whoever was after them, or was it Jill? Nelly and Luda. Oh, Jill. I, ain't, I, ain't see, I ain't see Nelly. I ain't see Jagged Edge. Yeah, it was Teddy <laughs> Riley made me tap out. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't see that. <laughs> <laughs> or you got <laughs> yo. Yo, anyway, man, um, before we get out of here, I just want to give a shout to everybody black. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Everybody black, man. Salute to y'all, man. And um, the East especially all my black folks that shout out, especially all my black folks that use air fryers, hashtag air fryer gang. Uh, yes. saying, um, speaking of deliveries, Jimmy then got me. I got two of them Jones now. Yo, what's what's the what's the best joint to get? What's the best joint to get though? You know, you know why uh, I got all of them. I got the power <laughs> XL joint. It's real good. The reason why we got another one is because I need a link. We wanted to make the whole meal in that joint. So instead okay. of this yes, out putting yes. something else, we got another joint that got like three tiers. So you can make three. You know, you put the well, veggies in there. You can put the uh, well, chicken nuggets right here. Yeah, yeah it's just yo. We got three joints. My wife baked a cake in one the other day, yo. Well, it's, it's, it's the yo. greatest thing ever, yo. Like, oh, next well, level. I, hashtag, yo, I, I need, hashtag I need, I need three right, links. Man. See, I, mean, I, 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 I got five, but you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just tuck mine in. You, you, you talk, 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 to them. They like, they, 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 yeah, I, they gotta, they gotta hook me up. They gotta hook me up with an affiliate link because I'll be out here like, you know, singing a prayer. I need an affiliate link, but um, yo, know, shout to everybody black, shout to everybody black with an air fryer, man. Five and I was on the four, so I mean, <laughs> you, you talk to them about. Uh, and last thing. I, the last thing I want to say though is like for people out there, like you know, who are out there um protesting and doing what they gotta do. When they ask you like why, ask them like you know, why did they kill black folks? When you ask them, when they ask you like when you gonna stop, ask them when they gonna stop killing black folks. And um, you know, F the system, man. That's all I pretty much got, man. You you guys got anything else you want to say before we got here? Both teams play hard, my man. That's it, man. Yeah, for man. who for yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, for who for stop killing black folks, man. So everybody out there, man, this has been another episode of Safe Space. Listen, man. <laughs> make sure you guys out there, um, you know, uh, like this video, subscribe, share this video, give us your feedback. Let us know how you feel about everything going on in the world, um, how you feel about the pandemic, how you feel about air fryers, and everything else mentioned, man. Um, my name is Jimmy for my brother Dev for Davis Backwards and Phil Matic, man. Just want to say peace. Eat the cake, anime. That's right. Try to help Ike. <laughs> <laughs>